statistics and probability class. As we introduced in the past lesson, the standard error of the mean sigma sub x bar tells the degree of the accuracy of the sample mean x bar as an estimate of the population mean mu. An estimate is good if the standard error of the mean is small or close to zero. Moreover, as the sample size n increases, the smaller the value of sigma sub x bar. Therefore, to get a good estimate of mu, n or small n should be large. Central limit theorem states that when random samples of size n are randomly selected from a population, as n gets larger, the sample distribution of the mean approaches normal distribution, regardless of the distribution from which we are sampling. Note that the sample mean can be considered approximately normally distributed if a small n or sample size n is greater than or equal to 30. This theorem applies inevitably to sampling from infinite population. Furthermore, we use the Z conversion formula Z equals X bar minus mu over sigma over square root of n in our computations as mentioned in the previous lesson. For example, the average time it takes senior high students to finish a post test is 45.3 minutes. The standard deviation is 5 minutes. Assume that the variable is normally distributed. A. What is the probability that a randomly selected senior high student will finish the post-test in less than 40 minutes? And B. If 35 randomly selected senior high students take the post-test, what is the probability that the mean time it will take them to finish the exam will be more than 44 minutes? So, let us solve first for letter A, which asks us for the probability that a randomly selected senior high student will finish the post-test in less than 40 minutes. The given in the problem are the values of the mean which is 45.3, standard deviation which is 5, and the x or number of minutes which is 40. We are asked to solve for the probability that x is less than 40 or that the learner will finish uh, the post-test in less than 40 seconds. So that is x less than 40. Since the, the other term for probability is area under the normal curve, then we may use the normal curve and find the area of the shaded region uh, for us to solve also for this problem P e because they are equivalent. But for us to have a normal curve or to shade that particular area in the normal under the normal curve then we need to convert this to a z value. So that will be our strategy by converting this to a z score. And this is the formula that we are going to use. Z equals x, the value, minus mean over standard deviation. By standard or by substitution, x is 40, mean is 45.3, and standard deviation is 5. So you'll arrive at this equation. And then 40 minus 45.3 is negative 5.3 divided by 5, you circle to your z is equal to negative 1.06. Now that we know the equivalent of x less than 40 in z score, then we may now locate it under the norm, norm, normal curve. Under the normal curve, this is that area. Since the z value is a negative number, then this will be to the left of 0. We know that 0 is at the middle part, then to the left of it, 1.06 units away. That is uh, z equals negative 1.06. But what we are interested in is the area less than it. So this will be the shaded part. The area less than negative 1.06 without z is to its left, the area to its left. And the value of this area is also the probability corresponds to what we are going to find. 
So, probability that x is less than 40 is also the same as probability that z is less than 1.06. And how did we come up with these values? Since we are interested with this shaded part, and we know that the area can be derived from a z-table given this z-score, then from the z-table, or uh, what I mean is, the z-table, again, let us review, the z-table gives us the area from 0, the middle, up to a certain positive number. But since we are given a negative number, then the strategy is to think of a number, a positive number, which is also, or which has also the same area as negative 1.06. And that, of course, is its additive inverse, which is positive 1.06. Imagine, this is the middle. This is negative 1.06. So it's equivalent in the other side of the region is, or of the normal curve, is 1.06. We have the same interval from the middle as before. So look, look for the area of one, z equals 1.06 using the z table and then subtract it from 0.5. Why did we subtract it from 0 0.5? Because, imagine again, 0 is the middle. What is given to us is the area from 0 to neg negative 1.06, which is equivalent to 0 0.3554. But we are not interested in that area. We are interested on the area to its left. So how our or how are we going to solve for that? Since this is 0 0.5, the area of the half of this normal curve is 0 0.5, so all these areas, even the shaded part, from the middle up to the last, to its left, that is 0 0.5. Then subtract the area from this middle up to 1.06. Of course, what will remain is the area of the, sh the shaded region. So that's how we arrive at this right-hand side of the equation. The half, the area of the half of the normal curve, which is 0 0.5, minus the area from 0 to 1.06. So you'll arrive at the formula that the learner will finish the post-test in less than 40 minutes is 0 0.14.6. Or in percentage, that is only 14.46%. So that is a small probability. For letter B, if 35 randomly selected senior high students take the post test, what is the probability that the mean time it will take them to finish the exam will be more than 44 minutes? So this time we are talking about more than. The given in the problem are the value of mean, which is 45.3, standard deviation 5, x equals 44, the number of minutes, and sample size is 35. And we are asked to solve for the probability that x is greater than 44, or that a learner randomly selected will finish the post-test in more than 44 minutes. Again, since probability is also the same as the area under a normal curve, then we may solve this problem by using the area under the normal curve. Let us convert again um, uh, this x, uh, x value to a z-score. And the formula to use is z is equal to x minus mean over um, pop or we call this the standard deviation over square root of n. So we are dealing with data uh, with sample means. So that's why we, we use a different C formula. By substitution, the value of s is 44, that is from the given. Value of the mean is 45.3. And then over, the denominator is this fraction. The standard deviation, which is 5, over square root of uh, sample size, which is 35. Then 44 minus 45.3 is negative 1.3. 
the denominator 5 divided by square root of 35 to the nearest four decimal places, that is 0 0.8452. And by dividing this, negative 1.3 divided by this decimal number, you will get negative 1.54. And this is how it looks. It looks like this is the normal curve and the z, the equivalent z of this x is negative 1.54. So that is the, to the left of the zero. This is that, negative 1.54. And we would like to know the area or the probability that the learner will finish the test in more than, more than 44. So, or that is more than negative 1 minus 3. So, that means the area to the right of the given z score or x value. So, how will we solve for the area of this part? Um, so, this is what we get from our solution. The probability we are trying to solve for is it will, it's equal to the probability of the z score that z score is greater than negative 1.5. And since we are interested with the area of this shaded region for us to answer the problem, letter B, then let us concentrate on how we will get the area of this with uh, what are the unknown that half of this has an area of 0 0.5. And then so this is 0 0.5. We are done with the, with the right side of 0 or of the middle, the shaded region. We are sure that that is 0 0.5. So this is that part. How about the left part? How will we know that, that area? So that comes from negative 1.54. Again, when you use the Z table, it is important to convert that negative to a positive number because they have equal distances uh, to zero and they will yield uh, same same areas same values of areas since the area in the z table the area of 1.54 is this decimal number 0.4282 then automatically that is also the um, the area from zero to its left or from zero to negative so 0 0.5 half plus that area is the value of the probability that x is greater than 44 or the probability that when a learner is randomly selected, um, he or she will finish the post-test in more than 44 minutes. That is 0 0.9382 or 93.82%. The common good of the majority should prevail. I hope you are reminded of that from this lesson on central limit freedom. Until next time.